Chandrayaan-3 blasted off from Sri Harikota in Andhra Pradesh on 14th of July. And it's not just ISRO and the government whose fingers are crossed and eyes fixed on its trajectory. Several private players are holding their breath too. The lunar landing is expected on August 23rd. Once successful, the mission will make India the fourth country to achieve a controlled landing on the moon after Russia, the United States and China. India's entry into the elite club will open several windows of opportunities for the country. And it will also fuel the growth of India's private sector players, whose role was crucial in this mission. Larsen and Tubro supplied several crucial components from the ground and flight umbilical plates to the manufacturing and proof pressure testing of critical booster segments. Their aerospace manufacturing facility fulfilled the stringent quality and timeline requirements. Some others, like Anand Technologies and Godrej Aerospace too, played roles in the mission. Sri Venkateshwara Aerospace built structural parts while Naga Sai Precision Engineering Works supplied protective cases. Since the country opened the way for private launches in 2020, the number of space startups have more than doubled. Late last year, Skyroot Aerospace launched India's first privately built rocket. It was called Vikram S. The global commercial space market is worth $360 billion and is expected to grow to $500 billion by 2030. While India's market share is just about $7 billion. But private participation wedded to ISRO's capabilities could boost this share to $50 billion or roughly 10% by 2030. India's space economy was valued at over $9.6 billion in 2020. By 2025, this could go up to $13 billion according to EY India. The Moon mission is likely to take it into the next orbit. Pawan Chandana, co-founder and CEO Skyroot Aerospace, said, Success of the mission will further add to India's goodwill in the Space League and will serve as a technology demonstrator for the future Moon missions. This can attract more customers, joint ventures into India and can help Indian companies and startups design and manufacture space systems and subsystems for the world. India currently has over 140 registered space tech startups like Skyroot, Satshore, Dhruva Space, and Bellatrix. These startups are focused on developing technologies with practical applications, including satellite based communication, broadband, OTT services, 5G, solar farm operations, and more, contributing to the growth of India's space sector. Chandrayaan series. Chandrayaan 1, Chandrayaan 2, Chandrayaan 3, which is spread over many years, starting from 2008 to 2023, has given private sector a lot of opportunity to work on the series of moon missions along with the Indian Space Research Organization. Right from the day that the ecosystem was developed by ISRO, they have been working as vendors and now they are almost at the level of partners because they are also involved in giving inputs on the design of the assemblies and sub-assemblies. And the capacity that has increased from 2008 to 2023 in India for the components, the assemblies and sub-assemblies which go into the, uh, into the spacecraft have increased many folds. Within the space ecosystem, there are specific sub-sectors where private players have the opportunity to expand and capitalize. Satellite manufacturing, launch services, space applications and space tourism are some of the areas where private companies can thrive. Space industry requires high-tech skills in science and engineering. This industry is known as a strategic asset for the country. So what will be the major challenges for the private sector. It is also important to understand that most of these uh, companies are in the SME sector. And the SME sector faces a lot of challenges in terms of funding, in terms of sustainability, and also in terms of the cash flow which needs to be maintained by constant orders. 
especially in the field of electronics, where they do not have many other options apart from working with ISRO. Next challenge, both to private sector and the uh, uh, private sector and in general, the space industry in India is to scale up this capability. Right. So right now, all um, most of the companies have launched their first mission or first set of missions. It's all about expanding to hundreds of thousands of missions that as an industry, we can launch and operate and sustain. Uh, I think that is the challenge that uh, uh, the private sector is taking on right now. And I think uh, we are seeing uh, all companies uh, aggressively working towards launching more satellites, launching, building more payloads having the capability to download more data and also having a complete pipeline to process this data to deliver analytics to uh, customers. India's private space sector looks all set to take off. Last year, funding for Indian space startups increased to $108 million, a jump of over 60% from the previous year. And the Chandrayaan-3 mission will only help it put on a fast lane. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. He's about to land his dream job. Business Standard.